Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Fairfield Bay and all the boats on the bay. This just in. Greetings, citizens of Fairfield Bay. This is the Fairfield Bay Gadfly coming to you in a different light today. I'm not coming in jest. I'm not talking about politics. I'm not talking about our local businesses. I'm talking about a day that affects all of us. Wow, it's been 20 years. I know each one of you can say where you were, what you were doing, who you were with. It was horrible and stunning and presented this country with an internal anger that I'm not sure has left our collective psyche as a nation. What I remember most was actually September 12th. I went out in my backyard, looked up at the sky, and there were absolutely no aircraft or contrails showing the passage of aircraft. Even in the city, it seemed quiet. Since that time, we have sent young men and women into harm's way to fight the endless war. Even among conservatives, particularly those of us who have been to war, who have seen the elephant, we did not want another generation of brave servicemen and women who would bear the scars of war. Yet we ended up with almost two generations of them. When this whole thing started, the Taliban ruled Afghanistan with an iron fist. Now, 20 years later, the Taliban now rule Afghanistan again, along with owning billions of dollars of war-making U.S. assets, much of which will more than likely end up in Iran. It is one thing to plan to withdraw, but another to end up like a modern-day Dunkirk, which is exactly what happened. I mourn all of the men and women we have lost over the last 20 years, but the loss of the last 13 was most bitter. As veterans, we will continue our work to assist those younger veterans, as it has always fallen to the veterans themselves to help each other. But it all comes back to that fateful day in September 2001, a day not unlike any other except now when someone says 9-11, they don't have to explain it. We said then, we would never forget. Judging from the direction of this country over the last few years, it appears that the country as a whole has forgotten. I charge each one of you to never forget the day or the sacrifices that have been made and will continue to be made for years to come. God bless America.